Good afternoon, everyone. You're now with me, Mano Ruben, for the segment of TVS New News, 12 February edition. Bumiputra youths in Sarawa, especially in the Bau district, are encouraged to venture into the agro-based industry sector, especially in food business. Sarawa Deputy Minister of Agriculture and Agro-Based Industry, Dr. Anthony Noge, said this being that food business was a huge industry in Malaysia with the country still importing food worth billions of ringgit. According to him, last year alone, Malaysia imported food products worth 4.1 billion ringgit and this shows that food production must not only be for local markets but also for export. He said these at the Tuku National Program in Bau. He said you should optimize the various programs and loans provided by the government under the relevant agencies, including financing by Tukun National. The ministry, he said, had also implemented various programs for use. Datu Sri Dr. Ramada Zahid Hamidi says Malaysia will need to hold more talks on stop checkpoint for travellers between the two countries. The Deputy Prime Minister said Malaysia respected Singapore's concerns over security matters with the proposed one-stop clearance for the rapid transit system and high-speed rail. He also said 100 million ringgit had been allocated to upgrade the Bangunan Sultan Iskandar Custom Immigration and Quarantine Complex. He said these after launching upgrading work at Johor Bahru. Meanwhile, Deputy Home Minister Dr. Nur Jazlan Muhammad described the move as a good idea because technology had been vastly enhanced to provide for better electronic checks on traveller. Singapore's Ministry of Home Affairs responding to a proposal by Malaysia for stop checkpoint reportedly stated that it was not possible to do away with immigration and customs checks for departing travellers. Well, that wraps up our new news for today. I'm Manu Ruben. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more updates and news on the tvsarat.com. Anytime, anywhere.